everyone, I'm working on new updates for my tiny game. I think the next step I will take is setting my gameplay, because just wandering around the tiny town is not my target. I want my game to be much more interactive. First of all, I've added a new save system and updated this in loading logic. So, after loading the game, you will appear not at the default spawn, but at the saved position. Also, the updated sim loading takes into account where the player came from. And I decided to make navigation in the tiny town more understandable, so now you can see where the path leads. I think this feature is suitable for the town, because it is pretty populated area and it should be really easy to navigate here. But I should remember that it can break the excitement of the exploration, so I'm not going to use this marks in forest or other wild areas. Just in this new features lead me to the main menu scene, because this moment between the start of the game and the actual loading of the save is the perfect opportunity to do some testing. For the first version of the main menu, I used the player's house as the background. I like how it looks, but several times I tried to click on the ground here, and imagine my surprise when nothing happened after that. So I need to make the main menu scene playable or find a more interesting solution. I want to make the first scene you see after starting the game pretty unique, but at the same time I don't want to go far from the main style. I started by changing the camera angle, so we see the same place, but now it is much more unique. Actually, I need some UI here. Maybe I can make it more interesting than it was before. So I'll put this wooden sign here to use it in future. And now it is time to make this place look good. Playing with the post-processing parameters and fog settings lead me to some pretty interesting results. The mood of the results scene is even better than I expected. Now I can add some final details and the scene will be ready. I still have this empty area on the right side, so I used my grass shader and I think it really made everything brighter. Let's also add some interface to the wooden sign. the main menu is ready, and now, when you launch the game for the first time, you will definitely understand what mood awaits you. I hope you enjoyed my tiny devlog. If you have any questions or maybe great ideas you want to share, feel free to join my tiny Discord server. Or maybe you want to download my models and Unity packages, then check out my Patreon. Thank you for watching and joining my tiny journey. There are still so many ideas and features to implement in my tiny world, and I can't wait to share it all with you. And what about the current moment? What is your favorite feature or place in the tiny world? Let me know in the comments! See you in the next video! Bye-bye!